Without heroes, our fair city would be easy prey for the delinquent, the communist, or exotic drug abusers. Luckily for the decent, law-abiding citizens of Atro City, a full-time super team is watching over them 24 hours a day. From high above the horizon, the all-seeing eye scans the streets for trouble. What's this? Atro Siggins alone is being robbed. Time to call the other members of the Superior Friends Super Team. Looks like Velcron stuck with some problems of his own. And Princess Phone can't hear the distress call. Luckily, a real hero is coming to save the day, straight from headquarters. It's the shining example, leader of the Superior Friends and champion of Atro City. He'll make an example of those ne'er-do-wells. A flash, and the criminals are dumbstruck. Now the shining example will take the villains to a secret rehabilitation center, where he will remake them into productive members of society. There's trouble again. It's the Hula Hooligans, up to their old tricks downtown. Don't be frightened, Fido. Old Shiny and the superior friends will stamp out those devil-worshipping sex perverts. That's what makes Atro City the safest city in America. Our heroes. Let me see if I understand you correctly, Mr. How did you pronounce this last name? Just call me John. John. You're telling me you want to sue one of the most powerful corporations in the world, the Gamma Corporation. Sue the Gamma Corporation for damages because... Because long-term exposure to their products turned my right arm into a superhero. Uh-huh. And what exactly leads you to believe this? My suspicions were first aroused when my right arm grew a little cape and tights and flew off to fight evil. Haven't you read about him in the papers or seen him in the news? He was on the cover of Parade last week. He who? He, my arm, the superhero. He's invulnerable and fights villains and all that gay cosplay crap. Not gay gay, but, you know, G-H-E-Y? Oh, really? Gamma Cola even turned my other arm into some sort of demonic demon guy. Of course. Can I ask you why you believe the Gamma Corporation is responsible? Or if you have anything to add that wouldn't waste my time, like, I don't know, say, a shred of evidence? How about some videotaped proof, Johnny Cockholster? It's from the city morgue where I work. The morgue. I'm night watchman three times a week. I don't do any corpse handling if that's what you're thinking. Though I have, however, been told by three different cops on three different occasions that I fit the profile of a corpse handler. And this is, what, security camera footage? Uh, kind of. What do you mean, kind of? One of the other night watchmen, Fingers, secretly hides cameras at work, so it serves the same basic purpose. See, there's Fingers. Oh my god, is he having a picnic? Hmm? No, he's just playing talk show. You're calling me stereotypical? They all drive like maniacs. Everybody knows that. Don't you call me that. That crossed the line. That crossed the line. Oh, this is gold. Wait till he starts in on Hillary Swank. What is the big deal? Do they toss her an Oscar every time somebody beats her to death? <laughs> he won't win the audience over with that one. <clears throat> Can we move this along, please? I'm expecting a legitimate client in half an hour. Chill, Matlock. We's almost there. Look, John, was it? I'm sorry, I have to do grown-up stuff now. So if you wouldn't mind closing my door on your way out, I would- OH MY GOD! What, you recognize her? Listen, kid, maybe you should consider a better quality meth lab, okay? I don't know if this is your fucked up way of finagling a BJ from an older man, but your little student film isn't doing it for me. Would you shut up? It's right after this. Take a fucking my doll. Oh, ho you think you've won? You haven't won. You gotta sleep sometime. And when you do... I was stuck like that for hours until Fingers showed up for his shift and found me. If it wasn't for all that Crisco and Jurgens Fingers happened to keep in his locker, I'd probably still be stuck there like a Swedish cow proctologist. And this is what you claim turned your right arm into a superhero. 
that and my balls fell asleep from sitting on the tiles all night. Hold on, look at this. For the love of God, no more dead people. Okay, that was Burger King. That, that was yesterday. Just look. It hurts like a mother every time he does it. And look, this is what he does. He flies around and pimp slaps people. That's what my left arm turned into once. Check out the gothy, query duds. You got any idea what it's like unzipping your fly to take a whiz when you can't use your arms because they're off slapping each other around somewhere? My toilet looks like Jackson Pollock came in and pissed all over it. How could you even get these pictures? When my right arm's not off being a crime fighter, he teaches a scrapbooking class. I'm sorry, John. You have to prove that Gamma forced you to put your arm inside that machine in order to have any kind of a valid case against them. Then I'll say that I was made irrational by Gamma's advertising. Like that Quiznos commercial that caused that mass suicide? Look, John, I am, in reality, a very busy man. And as such, there are matters that simply demand my attention. You have my best wishes with this matter in the future, but it's my firm belief you have no case. That's exactly what you told me. <laughs> yes. It is I, T-Rex arms. Wee, wee, wee. But you wanted to sue God, Almighty. Correct. I wanted to sue the sick bastard responsible for crapping a Cleveland steamer like yours truly into existence. But you laughed at me. They all laugh at me. They all laugh at my stupid little floppy T-Rex arms. What do you expect, dude? You look like something that hasn't been watered properly. You'll regret that once you see what I've brought. Oh, Jesus Christ, not another super weapon. I just had the walls repainted. This iPod contains every single song ever recorded, not only by Hootie, but his accursed blowfish as well. Calvin, Hobbs, hold them. <clears throat> You call your henchmen Calvin and Hobbes? It's coincidental, those are their real names. We'll see who's laughing once I put these headphones on you. 40 gigabytes, Hootie and the freaking Blowfish. All right, this isn't necessary, release us. Let's go over your case against God. That ship has sailed, Spunky. I'm afraid you have uppins coming. Uppins beyond your wildest imagination. What is that? Did I get the new Coldplay instead? <laughs>